Mrs. Lawanda D. I'm checking in for my three-year hair anniversary. <laughs> uh, anniversary of my big chop. So <clears throat> it's been um, interesting, <laughs> but uh, lots of changes and stuff with my hair. And this is not my hair. I put a ponytail in, so I decided um, once I got home this evening, I would like talk about my hair and and give you a hair update you know on what's going on so um i just had all the intentions in the world of doing more videos throughout the year of hairstyles and you know it's it's just so hard um i don't get out much so uh, I, what I've decided to do since the weather down here in Florida is pretty rough on natural hair as far as the humidity. I've kind of given up for right now of having even my hair down because it's not cute after like 30 minutes. Um, and I just look like I have this wild fro sensation going on. And though most, um, see it's going to go ponytail, though most naturals like their hair to be big uh i don't uh, i've always been self-conscious a little about my height i don't mind being tall uh, but i i don't like to draw a lot of attention to myself you know so there you go so having big hair is um not my cup of tea i don't want anything to add to my height like that so there she goes um i just got some hair color um because i'm going to color my hair again I, I did color it with highlights um since you last seen me so i'm gonna do a little turn around here so you can see the hair in all its glory So, um, I, what I've been doing, like I say, has been basically doing French rolls, twi uh, French twist buns, uh, not so much, but I had a, like you saw today, I put a ponytail in cause I just didn't feel like doing it. And, um, and I just use edge control stuff over the top today. I should have put gel on it too cause it got frizzy, but I didn't feel good when I went out tonight. So it was do whatever looks human <laughs> and so um what i've been doing as far as keeping it up keeping the ends tucked in just wearing super low mate uh low manipulating um very protective hairstyles just because um it's easier as far as me feeling like I don't have to redo my hair right after I get in the car because it's become something I didn't want it to be. Uh, you know, my twists outs and braid outs weren't looking good after. That's what I'm talking about. They just become this um, like in 30 minutes. So it'll be all cute and curly like my ponytail was and then, then this happens. And this is not what I want, you know. I don't mind it, but it's not what I was going for. So what I've been doing lately, I've gone back to the uh, mud. Uh, I used the bentonite clay and water to to get it all smooth and worked in. And then when I and I just keep it in a container. I have never had it go bad. I've had it like that for months in my pantry. And I just scoop out what I want, and then to loosen it back up, I use uh, to loosen the, the consistency. That's when I pour in the uh, uh, aloe vera juice <laughs> and mix that in. And so that's what I've gone back to because I was just doing the co-washing and things like that. And you know, and and I just noticed I got to a point where I didn't really need to wash my hair every week once the season changed. So now I'm doing it every two weeks. And so I'm going back to those routines that um, I'll do more on my hair if I don't have to do it every week. Um, 
because it'll get certain times of the year where I'll have to do a co wash every two two times every week or something because I sweat a lot in the summer. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure it. Uh, like I said, it's blowed out. I'm going to be washing it. Today is Thursday, the 11th, but I have something to do Monday the 14th. So that's why I'm, I'm doing this video early and I'll probably upload it Saturday the 12th. Um, but today is, no, I'm sorry, today is third, yeah, the 10th. Today is Thursday the 10th, April the 10th. So uh, let's see here, let me get my hair, because it's kind of kink up, so I'm trying to pull it with my ruler. Okay, so this is 10 inches in the back. In the bottom, I have a mirror in front of me. And, well, let me just move it first. And the bottom is six and a half inches these days. So the side of my hair is, um, I'm going to say, uh, 10 inches long on the side. So the side is 10. Okay, so six inches on the sides. And now I'm gonna do the crown of my head. That's usually my longest hair. My hair is feeling kind of drawn up for some reason, like the humidity is finally worn over on all my little hair here. Okay, the top of my hair is um, just under 11 inches. So let's see how we do this. Okay, and that's a full of eight inches. Okay, let me do the bang. I have to look at it. I'm trying to look at the numbers and I can't read because my glasses are down. But the bang, the bangalang is right at nine inches. So my bang, nine inch bang. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, life happens. So you got to deal with what you got. Six and a half inches. Um, okay, <laughs> hair is 10 inches after three years, and you know, when I did my big chop, my hair was like that long, but yeah, hair is you know, um, the hair is my hair is healthy, it's growing as you can see, it's thick, it's all get out, and um, you know, it's just um, with styling and stuff like that. I've just gone, gotten down to the point where I don't, I'm tired of like, when I don't feel good fighting with a hairstyle because when I'm doing my hair, it feels amazing. It feels, I don't know, it's hard to say. It don't, it doesn't look like it feels, it feels like it's all, cause I can feel the curl pattern and stuff in it. And then I look in the mirror and I don't see them. Uh, and that's frustrating cause in my mind, my hair is looking different and it's just a big poof. And it's not that I don't like a big poof, but um, I want I want some curls sometime, <laughs> and um, and so just dealing with all oh, this hair, you know, this hair like this. I you know some women like walking out the door with their hair like that. I don't, <laughs> you know. So um, I like some I like styles that are just hang down and you know hair like this doesn't hang down it wants to stay out like this so which makes it easy 
to do updos and stuff and the styles that I'm doing. So I'm gonna really try this year to come on and show some of the styles I'm doing. And uh, But like I said, right now I'm keeping it low, low manipulation, uh, protective styles, because I really want to kick it into growing it, because I do want to get it to tailbone length. I mean, uh, waist length hair, <clears throat> or a little bit, low, little bit shorter. It just depends. I will probably change my mind when it get that long. <laughs> the longest I've had it is bra length. <clears throat> when I was relaxed, um, that's the longest I let it get before I cut it because I just got sick of it. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes. Uh, it's all good when it's cold, but when it get hot down here in Florida and the humidity is like 100, you, you just... <clears throat> <laughs> and then you be like, dog, what I did? You know, when the fall comes, so I'm, I'm going to try real hard. When it's summertime comes and I want to shave my head, I'm just going to really work on doing the ponytails. Um, cause I bought a couple of ponytails and, and so that's what I'm gonna, going to work on doing. Um, but what I have found is, um, about my, I already knew once my hair started growing that my whole head is not 4C, 4C and I don't think most of us don't have one style, but, um, I found that like, okay, this much of my head <clears throat> that's in my hand is 4C and the crown is like 4F <laughs> and then all this hair right here you can tell it looks different and I would like to say it's 4B because the texture is so different but and it'll curl more so it has more of a curl pattern if I wet it it'll curl a little bit more and then it'll dry in a, pony, in a poof like this. But this hair is so different. And when I twist it, it does, the twist don't stay back here like it will the rest of this hair. So this is my difficult. It's easy to, de to detangle. It's easy to, to just keeping it untangled and stuff. It's great. It doesn't get hard and dry at all. It holds moisture. It's wonderful. But that stuff don't want to hold any style. It, it gets on my nerve. And, but the rest of my hair, I can twist it and it'll stay. It'll do whatever I want it to do. But the stuff in the back doesn't. And it's super, super, super. I mean, this is soft, but you you can feel and see a difference. I don't know if you can tell in here. You can, there's a difference between this hair and this hair. And so that's been something I've been dealing with. So, <clears throat> but I'm going to stop talking so much. <laughs> And let you guys go so um thank you all for those that have been following me all you know since day one and you just been following me because my hair is like yours which is hard to find people with hair like this um just what i've been learning as far as what you can do with it i love how you can manipulate it put it in positions and it stays i do not love the frizziness um because I put a lot of edge control on it and it just it just sucked it up like like a sponge and then it left it all frizzy. So that's something I've been trying to work with. But um, you know, I'm just <clears throat> I like the hair. I'm enjoying my hair. And um it's growing thick and long like I I knew it would. <laughs> so if you did your big chop or you did it right after I did and you've been following my my journey along with yours um and you or you just started and you feel like my hair will never grow i don't want to cut it um it, it will grow um as you can see um just i did i chose to do my big chop because i had did transition for seven months and my new growth of i didn't know what was going to grow out my scalp 4C hair with limp, uh, relaxed hair on the ends. It's not cute. I had trouble hiding the ends, um, ponytails and stuff. I didn't, I didn't know how to do my hair, the hair that was coming out of my scalp. So it was frizzy and it didn't match with the, the synthetic hair I was trying to put on it. I had a lot of problems trying to handle transition hair because I just didn't know a lot. And then I saw natural 85s say, just go ahead and cut it. It's just hair, it'll grow. But the biggest thing about cutting it is you'll learn how to take care of your hair appropriately a lot easier if it's short. And when she said that, I said, 
you know what? I don't know what I'm going to get, but I've always had thick hair growing up. I better, I'm going to go ahead and cut it and it'll grow. It always does. So that was why I did it. Because so, I wanted to learn how to take care of it short uh, so that when it will grew long, I, it would just be healthy and beautiful. And, and that's what I have now. So um, those of you on the line, on the fence, I should say about doing a big chop, you know, the, the one thing you will get out of it is you will learn how to do your hair while it's short and you won't be yanking your hair out because you're frustrated or you just ignorant of what you need to be doing and you're still watching videos and you haven't figured it out yet, you know. Um, that's that's the one and only re biggest reason why I did it, other than it was way too hard to keep it up, looking nice with two types of hair, with, especially when you have hair like this coming out your scalp and you got straight ends that long, it's not cute. So, but if you can find a way to get around that with different stuff, you know, knock yourself out, it wasn't worth it for me. I mean, it's like, it's just hair, you know, I'm, I'm so much more than my hair. So, um, you know, uh, thanks for following me, you guys. I, I'm going to try really hard to keep my word and do some hair videos throughout the year. And anything else I may want to share, changes or whatever with my hair. But, um, you know, it's healthy, it's beautiful, it's long. And I hope yours is too. Okay?